Hello everyone out there. So let's begin. So before you you start, you have to have a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, go and create a new Google account and log in. Once you have logged in on the front page here, you will see it is like this. So you see it it shows that I have logged in Godwin Matthew. So you now click on this dotted side. This dotted side where they write Google app, this dot you click on it. Once you click on it, you will see these apps. So you scroll downward to where they write blogger and you click on blogger. You wait while it, it keeps loading. So when you finish loading, you will see this page. So this is the page, the, the, the initial Bob, uh, blog I created in the past. So for you to create your own, you click where there is this arrow. You see, you click it like this. Once you click it, you see these are the previous blog I've created before. For you to create your own blog website, you see where they write new blog. So you click it. Once you click it, you see this dialog block uh, box. This dialog block box will appear. So it says choose a name for your blog. That is the name people will know your blog. It can be a name of a church, it can be a name of a school, it can be a name of an organization, or it can be your own personal name. So, for example, let me use my name as the name of the blog. Maybe I will put Godwin Godwin Tech School or Godwin Church. Godwin Tech School is the name of my blog. The name of my blog is different from my URL. My URL is the link. So on this uh, Google blog, you have you have access to free domain name and free web hosting. So you see, but the, for the free uh, domain name, you, it will always come with blogspot, unless blogspot.com, unless you want to change it to either .com, .ng in the nearest future. So let's use this free one for the sake of this uh, study. Maybe I can put Godwin. Godwin NG as my domain name. So I mean as my URL. So you can you will see that this Godwin NG, they say the blog address is available. But maybe if it's not available, then you have to change it. So it's available. So I am I'm free to use this Godwin NG or Godwin. Let me change it to Godwin Tech NG. So Godwin Tech NG is still available. So I'll click save. So you see it's processing. So you wait until you finish processing. And when you finish processing, it will move to the next stage. Sorry, my network is a little bit. So you see, this is Godwin Tech School. Now for me to see my to see my web page that I just created, I'll have to click this place, the right view blog. So let me click it. Let's see. Wow, you can see the link is working. This is, you see, this is the link Godwin Tech ng.blogspot.com. You see, this is the link we just created, and this is uh, my website. But the website does not carry the color I want. We are going to be doing that step by step, A to Z. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and like and comment on my on this video so you see it's looking fine but not the way i like so what you need to do right now just come you click this menu you see this place you click this menu you see this shows that i'm the owner of the website godwin matthew i'm testing this and that so i click on this place that there's no pictures it's still loading No profile pictures so I click on it so if I want to put maybe my logo 
or my profile picture on this place you can click edit you see here the right edit so you scroll you scroll you scroll so you see this place the right profile photo you can put my own personal photo or if your organization has its own logo so you click this place I'm going to be a little bit fast because of time so on my desktop let me go to my desktop to look for another profile picture that I want to use maybe let me use this this GM photo I will now open it so it's processing the photo So you see the photo is already here if you want to change you can click remove and put another so there are a lot of things here that you feel city and other things but i don't need that but if you need that you can put it so what i want to teach you about this is introduction so you can delete whatever is here and type in your introduction your introduction writes a brief things about you about your organization i can just say this is depending on your own this is my own this is my computer tech school let me abbreviate the school so you scroll down and you click save so it's saving your setting So you see your setting have been saved eh? so you can click this place to view your updated profile wow so you see this is my my profile picture on my website you see this is my computer tech school All right so in the next uh, so you can come back to this view blog to see how it really look on the sites so you see you click this place you see wow so this is godwin matthew this is my computer schools you close it so when you go back to this uh, to your dashboard I want us to look at something at our dim. The next thing you look at is your dim. Because me, I don't like the color and color background of this website. So I want us to change it. You go to your dim. You see here the right dim. You click it. So it's still loading. So this, you have a lot of dim here that you can choose you can choose them but there is a particular one i normally choose that is that fits my my work so let me choose simple block which is sim simply simple so you click on it you click on it so there are a lot of customization here but for the sake of time, you can just do it on your own. So you just click applied. Let's apply our dim. It's right applying new dim, you see. So it says some gadgets may become visible. Click got it. So um, that is how to apply your dim. It's a new dim applied successfully. So what you need to do right now is for you to view your blog again. wow you see the color is fantastic so that is how to create a blog website and it's free so in the next video i'll be teaching you how to put the posts in your blog so you see we have not done any post yet we are only trying to set up our home page so 
there we have not post anything here so i'll teach you how to post and how to create pages in the next video thank you please don't forget to click the subscribe button and remain blessed